good afternoon. Welcome to Dude RV. As you can hear, the cicadas are singing. That means it's July or August in Texas, and it's hot. Man, is it hot. It's actually not too bad, uh, but it's getting there. Uh, we're going to be about 90, 98 degrees today. Heat index is going to be just, just oh, ants on my feet. The heat index is going to be just a little over 100. Now, if the opening shot was me putting the windshield cover on the RV. And I've been using that windshield cover since we bought Miss V. Uh, it, it works okay, but when the summer sun is shining and it hits that windshield, it heats up the cab just like it does in every other car truck and it it raises the temperature in the cab dramatically so when we're set up at camp and we're pointed west late in the afternoon the sun starts to hit the windshield now the class c is cool it's, it's not cool the class c is has one real advantage over an a that a lot of people don't talk about and that's the ball cap we've got the projection out over so it shades that windshield for most of the day. But occasionally, you find yourself in a campsite where you're pointing west, which is not optimal because the, the sun will shine on that cab and heat it up just like a terrarium, which is one of the reasons why we bought this cover. Someone has been telling me the cover's starting to look really bad and we need to get a new one. I don't see any per any reason. I mean, I got the dudeRV.com on this one. I don't, hold on. It is the Bouge RV. So they, they've provided me with this windshield cover to create a video. Uh, basically, I guess a product review, a test. So I'm, I'm really gonna put it to the test. So there's some things that I really like about the, the white one, and that is, is that it keeps the dogs from being able to see out. Uh, it gives us a lot of privacy, and it open, we can open up the cab, and, and we don't have to have a curtain. If there's a curtain, we can't get to the... Anyway, having the full wrap cover is very advantageous. It would be even better if we had some resistance to the UV rays. Uh, it would be nice if it stored a little easier, because as it is, it's rolled up, it's long. The, the white one here. Uh, Bouge RV, I hope I'm saying that right. We've just been exchanging emails, because they're from China, I believe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the, the pronunciation. Bouge, 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 but anyway, so what they have sent me, I'm excited about it. So what they've given me is, is something that really seems to be a really good idea. First, it, it's a full wrap windshield cover, and you'll see it here shortly. But more importantly, it, it fits into this bag. So it fits into the bag, so it's easy to store. And it's quilted. It's got an aluminum reflective layer. It's, actually four, it's a four layer material. So inside, you see, it's got the dark blackout. And the outside is the aluminum reflective, and then there's two other layers inside kind of a padding so it's it would be more advantageous in the cooler months so it adds a layer of insulation on the window uh, and it supposedly helps reduce the temperature inside by reflecting the UV rays but with that in mind we're gonna put it to the temperature test I'm gonna put the thermometers one inside I'm gonna put a thermometer inside the cab and a thermometer out here on the hood one on the dash one on the hood 
with the white one, with the new Bouge RV cover, so we can see what the differences in temperature really is. But all in all, so far I'm, I'm happy with the product because it has, it, I mean, it's basically the same thing that I already have, only it's a little more compact, compactable. It's got heavy duty magnets to attach to the door. It's got the door corner hook, hook, the door corner pocket, and it has the mirror pocket. So we're able to secure it in place. Now that the opening is, out, is done, Let's shoot some more video of actual temperatures. Well, we're getting on towards late afternoon. It's about 3.45. Been, I've been waiting for sun to start shining on the... All right, so the thermometer in there is showing 95, right almost 100 degrees. And this thermometer here, this is the ambient outside temperature, it's showing right at a hundred degrees. So we're starting to get pretty warm inside with just the white cover. So I'm going to switch over to the new Bouazard V Silver and we will take a look and see how that does. I'll give it about an hour. nicely now according to the Amazon page this is waterproof uh, that that would have some concern to me uh, having it getting get rained on and then having to store it if it didn't shed the water so maybe I need to pour some water on it stand by Got us a cup of water. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So the back side is, is damp. So it's not a hundred so I would say it, it's it's not 100 percent waterproof which, which can be problematic if you have to store it wet because it it could start to mildew so anyway we'll we'll watch the temperature and I'll cut back in in about an hour we'll see if it made a difference all right so it's been about an hour a little over an hour actually We've got quite a bit more sun exposure than we had earlier. So we have to keep that in mind when we check our, our thermometers over here. So the outside ambient thermometer is showing 100 degrees. The inside, that is 100 degrees. So we're five degrees inside now than we were before we put that up. Uh, but we do have quite a bit more exposure. So having had some conversation with the ladies, 
they thought it might be beneficial for you if I were to have controls, uh, experiments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thermometer in Yappy's car, which is sitting in the direct sun. I'm not going to put it on the dash, but rather I'm going to put it to the side uh, where it's not in the direct. We want to get a measurement of we want to get a measurement of the temperature, just the ambient temperature in the car. All right, so we put it on the seat. And then the second thermometer is going to go in my mother's car, which is parked in the shade under the carport. Just so that we know what the actual temperature in a car is without an air conditioner running, oops, sun right in your face. This way we know what the temperature of a car is today when it's hot. So stay tuned for the results. Well, it's amazing how fast the weather can change here in Texas. I was working on editing this video and so I'm, I'm cutting in here. Um, there's two things. Well, number one, I lost the audio on the very last clip, on the closeout clip, where I'm giving you uh, my feelings and thoughts on this Bouge RV cover. Uh, I lost the audio feed. So what we determined with the uh, control tests on the two different vehicles, Yappy's car that was sitting in the sun, uh, the, the little thermometers, they only go to 120 degrees. We peg that out. Here's, here's that picture. All right, my mother's car that was sitting under the carport, the inside ambient temperature there was right at 100 degrees. Pretty much the, the ambient temperature of the outside air by the RV. So the Bouge RV reflective cover actually did a pretty good job of holding the temperature down in the motorhome. Now, now granted, we had the, the two air conditioners going, keeping it cool inside the motorhome part itself, but I tried to I partitioned off the cab, uh, and the cab was substantially hotter than the rest of the motorhome. But that test with the other two vehicles confirmed that yes, it is actually a benefit to have that on a hot sunny day. Now, when I poured the water on the windshield cover, uh, I was kind of, when I was re-watching that just now, uh, it, I, it wasn't a hundred percent yes conclusive that it was wet uh so i wanted i wanted to verify that and so what i've done is i i got a bowl of water here and i've actually just poured some water on top of this um and it does beat up but in a pretty short amount of time it starts to run out down here So it, it is not a waterproof cover, and seeing how it's quilted, you don't want it to get rained on. So a good ap heavy application of never wet maybe, or uh, a, a heavy duty, there's a Scotch guard for tents, that would uh, help shed the water off of it. Well rather than you guys trying to figure out what's the best way to waterproof this, I thought well I'll just, I'll just answer that question for us since I'm the video guy and I have a can of Scotch Guard outdoor for tents and stuff and Rust OM has never wet for fabric both of these they say you'll need to reapply annually or as needed so I'm going to spray this down never wet on the left Scotch Guard outdoor on the right we have to wait 24 hours for it to dry before we can see the results. 
Now I'm gonna go to spray it, and there's no point in you watching me spray this. I mean, it's pretty simple. Here's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, that's how you spray it. Uh, <laughs> now, and they offered you guys a discount. If you're buying through Amazon, there's a link down in the in the description below, and the discount code is DUDERV. So if, if you're wanting to get one of these, they're going to give you 10% off if you use the DUDERV. Well, that 10% should give you enough revenue to purchase one of those if you don't already have it. So you'll end up with, with a waterproof solar blanket for the front of the, the van. So I'll cut back in tomorrow when this has had time, when this has had time to cure. I'll be back. So stay tuned, coming right up. I'm doing a simulated test. Everything seems to be dry. The uh, Scotch Guard, it seems to dry way faster than the Never Wet, which is over here. But I have a mister system on the patio for these hot summer days. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll just give this a saturation test. So I've got the mister going on it, and it's damp. Now here in a little while, I'm going to flip it around and put the Never Wet on this end. Right now, the Scotch Guard, because this, this is just soaked. It's wet. I mean, the water's just running through. And it may be that it's always going to be wet because of these perforations. We'll see if it's possible to make it waterproof. Got it flipped around. I don't, I don't know how well that comes, comes through, but this end is just, I mean, literally, it is saturated. This is the Scotch Guard. So now we've got the, the Never Wet getting wet. The Never Wet getting wet. Stand by. It's not looking good. So this is the never wet side, and the misters have been dripping on it for about half an hour. We were we were about 45 minutes on the Scotch Guard, and the never wet side, about half an hour, and it's it's wet too. Uh, it it's it's not quite as wet as as the other side, but you can see there's there's water on the table here. So, if you're going to be in a wet environment, you don't want to use this cover. If you're going to be in a hot, dry climate where there's a lot of sun, this is a good cover. What can I say? I mean, I've run the tests here, uh, and I'll use this. Maybe I'll use this when there's no possible chance of rain. I like I liked the whole concept, and they, they provided this to me for free. Uh, and I could direct you to Amazon and, and convince you that this is the, the greatest thing since sliced bread for your Ford Class C motor home. But man, if it gets wet and, and it's quilted, you better make sure it's dry before you put it away. It, it's going to be a wet blanket, and you're going to have to dry it out before you stow it. I, I, I can't sugarcoat that at all. After about half an hour of just a light mist, Two applications, and I, and I failed to mention that. Two applications of the Never Wet, two applications of the Scotch Guard fabric product, and it was dry. But it was a hundred plus out here when I was applying those, and so those two different applications of the Never Wet and the Scotch Guard, they dried really quick because it was freaking hot. We got a lot of good beating going on, but I, I guess the perforations are just such that it goes right through. I, I don't know, but e even up here where there's not getting a whole lot on it, it, it's damp. I think the safest thing for me to say is I'm going to be ambivalent. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in the middle on this. It's, it's, if you want to buy, if, if you're going to be camping out in the desert, this is a great product. If you're going to be camping frequently where there's moisture falling from the sky, this is probably not a great product for you. If you're going to be in the desert and there's no rain, this is a great product for you. And with that, I'm going to end this video. I've, I've invested way too much time on this video. For you, I have not wasted too much time because you would not know. Bouge RV, got a cool concept. It needs to be waterproof. I sure hope this has been beneficial for you. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, hey, click on that subscribe button down there. Blast me out across your social media. Tell everybody about Dude RV. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm so very deeply honored. Y'all come back now, you hear?